Hello everyone. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about Chris Call Wallace test. It is also called as one-way ANOVA for ranks. It is a counterpart of the non-parametric counterpart of the parametric test, which is one-way ANOVA. So we are going to see how to perform this Chris Call Wallace test. Before that, if you have not subscribed to my channel, just do it. So we'll quickly move on to this video here. What is a Chris Call Wallace test here? So it is a non-parametric alternative to one-way ANOVA. This is point number one you have to remember. Then it is a method to test whether the samples originate from the same distribution. Okay, so now I'm getting a sample from the same distribution or not, we are going to check it here. It is used to compare three or more groups on a dependent variable that is measured on at least an ordinal level. See, what is the meaning of this is there are three groups or three or more groups where we'll be having a dependent variable that is measured on at least an ordinal level. This particular variable should follow an order here. Okay, that's what is the uh, thing you have to remember here. Okay, so now it is also called as one-way ANOVA on ranks. Okay, so now what is this? See, it is a hypothesis test where we test whether the mean ranks are same in every group. So group one, group two, group three. So I am going to rank them. Okay, then I'm going to average it. I'm finding out whether the mean ranks are same in every group. Please note, whenever we go for a non-parametric uh, test, we'll be comparing the medians here. Okay, so you have to remember. See, the hypothesis will be about the medians here. Okay. So now what is the hypothesis here? The population medians are same here. Okay, so median one equal to median two equal to median three, et cetera, median K, for example, I can keep it like this. So what will be the alternative hypothesis here? The population medians are different. So this is a general hypothesis. According to the sum, we are going to uh, define the hypothesis as per our sum here. Okay, so now we can, we can have a formula for this. Okay, so what is this? Uh, the test statistics is called as H. Okay, so now it is denoted by the letter H, which is calculated as, this is the formula we are going to have it. Okay, H is equal to 12 by N into N plus one sigma, J is equal to one to K. So it may be anything here. So it may be I is equal to one to R, or uh, sigma I is equal to one to uh, M, Okay, so according to uh, different books, it will be different notations here, okay? What is the meaning of this is R1 square by N1 plus R2 square by N2 plus R3 square by N3 plus et cetera up to R. Uh, see, for example, I'm having K, K variables here. I'm going to have up to K and NK the whole square. Up to this, I'm going to sum it. Okay, that's what is the meaning for this into 3n plus 1 is the formula. See, we are going to see what is the formula is saying about here is k is the number of comparison groups. Suppose if we are having three groups to compare, group 1, group 2, group 3, then my k value is 3, okay, number of groups, okay. Now, what is this nj sample size of a jth group? See, for example, in group 1, I am having five elements. Now, n uh, one will be five. See, for example, you have to remember, see how many elements are there, right? So now uh, RJ is the sum of ranks of Jth group. See, for example, group one, I'm, 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 uh, there are some ranks, one, two, five, seven is there. So my rank is 15. So now R1 will be 15 here. I have to keep it in mind, okay? Sum of the ranks of Jth group, okay? Just Jth, Ith group and all is the suffix we'll be using. Uh, to denote it R1, R2, R3, we generalize and write Rj, okay? So J, J is from 1, 2, 3. So just like that, it will be seen in the book, okay? So you can remember like this. So we're going to have an example here. See, the patients suffering from dengue were separated randomly into three groups and were treated with three different types of drugs. After seven days, the a uh, platelet count of the patients were taken and tabulated below whether the uh, platelet count is differing from that or not we are going to check it okay so now the data is given to, like this okay drug a so this is the platelet count okay and this is the platelet count this is the platelet count for the uh, all the three drugs okay so we are uh, just finding out uh, for the patients here, you know. So after uh, seven days, the platelet count of the patients were taken and tabulated below. So we have given it, okay, right. So now 
<clears throat> how to go about this? So first, the uh, hypothesis, the population medians are same. I'm going to take it. Then the alternative hypothesis, population medians are different. Then I'll always take the level of significance is 0 0.05. Now, how to proceed to find out this? We are going to see now. Now, here, calculate the rank for combined group. This is what is very important. So we have to have the combined group here. Okay, now I'm going to calculate the rank for combined group. I'm going to show it here. Okay, so now this is, I have done it already, the eighth rank, I'm going to show it anyway. Right, so now, so take this into the combined group here. Now, which is the smallest value here? Okay, now this is the smallest value. So rank one will be given to that, okay? So rank one. So the next smallest value, this one. So rank two is assigned to that. So it belongs to group A. Therefore, I am just putting the rank in R1. If the value belongs to some other group here, according to that, I am going to just show it in the corresponding groups here. You have to keep it in mind. Okay. So now here, now this is the next one. And here you see 61,000 and 61,000 are there. Already I have done one, two, three ranks. Okay, so now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12. I think 12 numbers are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 numbers are there, 12 ranks. So first rank is given, second rank is given, third rank is given. Now, 61,000 comes in two places. So, 4 plus 5 divided by 2, that is 4.5 is the rank. Suppose you don't know how to find out the ranking procedure. We have done a video. Uh, just you can visit our channel and find out how to rank the data. Now, here, now this belongs to the second group. Okay, so now it has to be in rank 2. I have given 4.5. Now, this 61,000 from... Uh, this group A, so now R1 is 4.5. That's how I have to write. Okay, so now next will be, so I have taken five and six, next will be sixth rank. Okay, so now sixth and seventh are same here. Okay, now sixth and seventh are same here, 6.5, I have given it to two places here. Okay, now 69,000, here 69,000, so two ranks are shared. So similarly, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, Eighth rank is already given, ninth rank is given, then 10 and 11 and 12 ranks are given. So this is a simple procedure how to rank it. So if you do not know how to rank it, just find out in our channel how to rank the data. This is the easiest procedure we have got. So only thing you have to remember here, we have to do it for the combined group here. So once we have done all the ranking, I'm going to sum the rank, okay? Now, this is the rank one, sigma R1, and this is sigma R2, then this is sigma R3. Then I'm going to use in this formula. So what is the formula? I'm going to show it here. So here, N1 is five. Why? Because one, two, three, four, five. Five numbers are there, so N1 is five. Similarly, N2 is one, two, three, so N2 is three. Now, number of elements in the group, okay? So now here, I'm having four elements, so N3 will be four here. That's what I have to note it down first. Then what is my capital N? It's nothing but sum of the elements here. Okay, now how this 12 comes here? Five plus three plus four. Okay, now N1. Okay, so N2 and N3. I'm going to add it. So I'm getting 12 here. So once this is done, capital N is uh, done. So now sigma R1 square is 18.5. I'm going to substitute here. The corresponding value is five here. Now 21 is from rank, sum of ranks in the group two, and the number of elements is three, so three and 21 square. Now third group, 38.5, 38.5, and the number of elements is four here. I'm going to write four here, so finished up. Now I'm going to square these values, okay? So 18.5, I'm getting 342.25 divided by five. Similarly, 21 square is 441 divided by three, and 38.5 is equal to 1482.25 divided by 4. I'm going to calculate this value here. Uh, so 68 points. So this comes around 68.45. This comes around 147. This comes around 370.56. 
I'm going to calculate the whole thing in order to substitute in the formula. So I'm getting the value as 586.01. I'm going to substitute in the main formula in the next slide. So once this is done, I'm going to use the calculation for H here. Okay, now H is equal to 12 by N into N plus one. This I have already calculated at three into N plus one. So this is what we are going to do it here. So now 12, this 12 as it is, N is also 12. Okay, now N plus one is 12 plus one. So that will come around 13 here. Okay, we have to take. So now this whole thing I have calculated previously, pre in the previous slide, I'm going to use it here. Now this three comes as it is, this N is 12, this one, okay. So now, once you just uh, substitute the values, we are going to calculate this. Okay, now this 12, 12 get cancels. Now one by 13 into 586.01, okay. So now this should be 01, right? I'm going to calculate three into, this is 13, so it is 39. So it comes around, H is equal to 45.077 minus 39. I'm going to get the H value as 6.077. This is what is my calculated value. So once my calculated value is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out, this is the calculated value. I'm going to find out the degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is calculated as K minus one. How many groups are there for me? Three groups, my K is three. So if I'm having five groups, K will be five. So once it is done, K minus one will be, uh, so it is three minus one. So we are getting degrees of freedom is two. Now, what we have to find out, okay? Now, see from the table, the critical value of H at two degrees of freedom is found to be 5.991 here, okay? So now, uh, what, uh, what happens here? We are calculating H critical is equal to 5.991 here, okay? Now, once this is the critical value, this is the uh, calculated value, then we are going to compare this, okay? So now, H calculated 6.077. Now, what is my uh, critical value is 5.991. Then I'm going to compare them. Uh, this should be H here, okay? H calculated is greater than H critical, okay? So now I'm getting the null hypothesis rejected I 5% level of significance. So we conclude with 95% confidence that there is a difference between the medians of the population so the platelet counts are different for different drugs. So we can find out like this. So this is how we will calculate Chris Carl Wallace test. Uh, I hope you like this video. So if you have any doubt, just put it in the comment box so that we can clear your doubts. Thank you very much for watching this. Have a nice day.